while since I have been on this space using this platform. Um, but I have um, something that's been on my heart for a little while. I feel like God's kind of laid it on my heart to just share with you guys and kind of just speak my two cents about it. So, um, Bear's napping, so I'm going to take this opportunity real quick to get a couple things out there. Um, so, I have been busy um, starting up a little side hustle of mine, um, which this kind of goes hand in hand with that. So, I figured why not talk about it. Um, so I have started a little Instagram pop-up boutique shop um, strictly on Instagram right now and I am thrifting beautiful quality, sometimes name brands, sometimes not, sometimes boutique brands, um, but beautiful pieces that still have so much life left to give um, and then I'm thrifting it, I'm taking the time to find it and then I'm going to, I'm reselling it to all of my Instagram girlfriends. So, um, with that, I felt like I needed to like talk about my love of fashion, my love of styling, and then my love of sharing great pieces at great prices um, because it kind of, I just don't want it to conflict with my view also that Instagram has become such a blogger business world just to sell, 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 sell. And I've had to unfollow so many blogger friends because it's all it is. Swipe up, swipe up, swipe up, swipe up. And I feel like it's just pushing that. And so I, I'm in my head thinking, Kelly, you're starting a store. What's the difference? You're trying to sell two. And so I kind of have this like inner turmoil a little bit about the conflict of those two things. And there's a couple reasons that I have gone on this little side venture. And honestly, it has blown up more than I ever imagined. Just in a week's time, I've seen such success and such um, enjoyment from this little side gig. So I don't know where this will take me or how long I'll be able to keep it up or maybe it'll burn out and people won't want to buy anything, which is fine. Um, but I'm going to ride it out and see how it goes. So, but I think there's a difference between trying to push selling on people and then just having a service there to offer it if people want it, which I know is what the links are there for too, but that's really just, you know, to try to sell product and make affiliate money where this, this is just to provide a service, provide goods for all sizes, all size ranges and all body types, which is exactly something that I'm super passionate about. So it kind of brings me back to my love of fashion and my love of styling. So I have loved clothing and styling for a very long time, probably since like junior high-ish. Um, I grew up thrifting. I was one of five kids. My mom was a stay-at-home mom, so we didn't have a lot of brand new clothes. And if they were new, they were usually from coming from Kmart or Walmart. Um, so we did a lot of thrifting. And so I started at a young age. We're talking like fifth and sixth grade. I would love to go into the Goodwill with my mom. And she would let me go browse the racks and I would pick out a couple pieces that I loved. And then she'd let me buy them because they were, you know, two and three dollars. And so that started at a young age that I start having, you know, a sense of personal style. And then I got into junior high and then in high school and I started getting subscriptions to Seventeen Magazine and oh boy, they were my, they spoke to me. They were my love language. I loved flipping through Seventeen and I would rip out pages and put them in my little binder of outfits that I liked and things I wanted to style and recreate. I did that already like in high school. So fast forward a couple of years and it was time to think about college and I still had this burning passion for fashion and styling and loved wearing thrifted pieces to school and I loved getting clearance fines once I started getting my, a job and having my own money and I'd buy my own clothes and I just loved it all. Um, so I pursued a um, fashion merchandising degree in college and with that I had this pipeline dream of owning my own bridal boutique and making women just feel beautiful for their special days and that's still like a pipeline dream but it's I I made it enough to like I would love fashion enough to choose that as my my degree looking back now it might have been a bit silly because I haven't really used it too much I mean Target wasn't exactly fashion oriented but it got me my job so anyways um and now I'm kind of in a day job that is a job and it's fulfilling, you know, that need to have a paycheck and provide for my family, which I'm very grateful for and very thankful for and, you know, don't plan on going anywhere anytime soon. And um, this whole Instagram outlet has been my outlet, has been my creative outlet. 
I talked earlier on a vlog kind of a diary journal about filling your cup up and what fills your cup up and for me it was been this fashion creative outlet with Instagram and many days I've thought about just deleting my apps deleting Instagram deleting social media and just focus on being a mom and just you know being with my kids but I think at the same time if I didn't have that creative fashion outlet my cup wouldn't be filled I wouldn't be filling my cup cup back up with my passions and my passion is sharing beautiful styling, usually on myself, because that's what I'm styling, but pieces that are affordable, pieces that are thrifted, that are inspired by trends, that are inspired by the fashion cycles, but maybe not brand new pieces, because I can't afford brand new pieces every season that a fashion trend comes out. So I have always enjoyed clothing and apparel and styling, and to me, they speak volumes about who you are. And some women might not think that, and some women might not care about clothing and it's just a means to have their bodies covered. And you know what, that's fine, that's totally fair. Um, but for me, it, it defines me to my core. Like I love being styled in pieces that tell the world what I'm about, who I am, my personality, without me even opening my mouth, without even me speaking one word they can have a sense of my personality and who I am and I love that. I think that that is just such a neat and amazing thing. So I think clothing has so much more value than just covering our bodies personally. That's my opinion and that's just how I feel. I, and I know that that's how God designed me. I've been listening to Girl Wash Your Face by Rachel Hollis, little, little blurb here. Go buy it, go listen to it, it's amazing. But in that book, she talks about how we are all God's daughters and how we all have something in us that makes us unique to us. And she talked about whether it's knitting or, or quilting or painting or writing. And for me, I have to believe that it is fashion and it is clothing and it is styling because it has always been a part of me. It's always been a part of my blood, how I see things. I'm always aesthetically driven. And... I have to believe that that's how God designed me and that's how he made me unique. And how can I use that to provide and impact others in a positive way? And for me, it's kind of this outlet. It's this side hustle of finding beautiful clothing, finding beautiful pieces at a fraction of the cost that you might find it in the store and providing it to you guys. And, you know, also at the same time working hard and making, you know, a little extra income for my family at the same time. So it's worth my time. But it's also getting to be able to style and share my fashion point of view, my clothing point of view, and how I like to see pieces. Um, and then getting to share that with everybody. But clothing, to me, can make a world of difference of how you feel about yourself. I don't care if you're a size 2, a size 22. Clothing can be so beautiful if it's styled correctly, if the fit is correct. And it doesn't matter about the size tag. Some days I'm 16, some days I'll wear a size 18 and feel amazing in it. I don't care about that size tag because I just wanna make sure it fits my body right, my curves right, my hips right. And I think that when you find pieces of clothing that do does your body justice and fits you properly, it's a game changer and it can change how you feel about yourself, how you see yourself in a mirror. And you know, life is more than your visual appearance, okay? Do not get me wrong here. I absolutely believe that clothing and cl fashion does not define self-worth and it should not define your self-worth. But I think there's a nice line and a nice balance there that it can sure make you feel good about yourself and putting the best foot forward to the world. Same with career wear and you know, you dress for the part. I've talked about that before on my Instagram platform. And I think it all comes full circle. I think it's all a part of that. That when you are dressed in pieces that A, that you love, pieces you feel confident in, it's going to make you feel better about yourself. It's going to let you put out into the world that beautiful light, that beautiful um, person that you're meant to be. I think that when we choose to hide ourselves, whether that's, you know, metaphorically or truly physically, we wear sweatshirts and, you know, don't show off our body, that that can almost be, you know, a hiding mechanism. And I just think that there's such beauty in 
letting the world see who you are both physically and spiritually and emotionally you have so much to give you have so much to offer and like I said I have been listening to Rachel Hollis's Girl Wash Your Facebook and it's just absolutely moving and it's absolutely speaking to my heart because I just feel like I can relate to so many things that she's okay, saying. Sorry, guys. Um, I got interrupted by Kenzie. Um, so, yeah. Um, I just really wanted to get on here and share just a little bit about, you know, who I am as a person, who I am as a woman, and some of these thoughts and true beliefs that I have about, about clothing and about fashion and how they can bring such value to your life at a fraction of the cost. They don't have to be... A 50 60 70 80 dollar sweater you know from big designer um stores or big huge fancy sales um i haven't shopped any of those type of sales in my entire lifetime and i would say i have a closet full of pretty beautiful things um that make me feel beautiful you know and that is one of this you know the beauty in this whole side hustle that is you know growing right now is blossoming honestly it's blossoming um it's it's part of who I am this thrifting this you know finding beautiful pieces that have a lot of life left to give um a lot of times brand new practically brand new barely worn um and then getting to bring those and share those with so many women of all sizes um not just small not just large but extra large 2x size 18 size 20 I am so excited to find gorgeous pieces that I truly would wear myself, pieces that I would literally pull out of my closet and share them with you, share my point of view, share my style, um, aesthetic. Um, but I really just wanted to get on and share a little bit of my heart with you guys, where I'm coming from, um, both on my Instagram page and my platform that I have now built over five years over there, um, to kind of have my little Insta blog over there. Um, but now this little other side venture to have a little Instagram boutique. Um, it's not about just making money. It's not about shoving things into your, you know, into your face to try to sell or to influence you to sell. That's not at all the thoughts behind this little venture. Um, it's truly about connecting with women and helping them um, maybe see a piece that they wouldn't have thought of before or styling it on myself. And again, it might not be something they're drawn to or on a hanger doesn't look all that exciting, but you put it on your body because it fits right or you style it right with the right Cardi and cute shoes or the right statement necklace and, it, and it's a game changer. It's a completely different look than what you imagined it on a hanger. And some women don't have that natural ability to see an outfit or to see a piece and try it on. And I do, I have that gift. I have that and I truly believe that was God's God's gift to me, you know, like it's part of who I am when he designed me that this is in my nature. It's in my blood to see it, to have a visual aesthetic of how to wear clothes and how to style clothes. And obviously I draw inspiration from bloggers and from current fashion trends and magazines and um, Pinterest and all of that. I draw inspiration from all of that too. And I want to try to find looks that are still on trend or on trend currently. But I don't have the income to go and buy a brand new piece every day, all day, every week, all new trends, every new season. And a lot of these bloggers, it's their job to sell these pieces of clothing and, oh, you know, swipe up here. Oh, it's under $50. Swipe up here. These jeans are right around $100. $100? I got kids' mouths to feed. Like, I can't afford $100 jeans. So... I have always had a passion of having great style, having great clothing, having great fashion, but having it at an affordable price and an attainable price, you know, a normal attainable price, excuse me. And I find that and I do that through thrifting and through clearance fines and, you know, being disciplined and not building up credit card debt to try to stay on trend or have the cutest sweater that the most popular bloggers are wearing. Like... That's not part of me and I can never do that. So my little side venture is truly blossoming, blossoming. Like this first week and a half of success has been mind boggling to me, absolutely mind boggling, but it's blossoming and it's coming from a sincere place of love and passion, passion to share beautiful pieces with you guys at a fraction of the cost that you'd find them in store 
with just a little element of a styling fee from me finding it and me helping you style it. Um, and then taking the time to get it packaged and shipped out. So this little side hustle of mine is tr it's truly a passion. Sorry, Addie, come here. Addie, come here. Sorry, guys. Um, a passion of mine to share with you girls. And um, if you're not following me on Instagram, if you stumbled across this vlog um, just through YouTube, come join me. I'm Hello Robinson Style. I'm just kind of an Insta blogger. I love to share my fashion, my everyday workwear, my little bit of mom life that I have when I share it. And then... Come shop with me. Shop my personal style. Shop my personal point of view um, for clothing and style. My style aesthetic at Shop Robinson Style. Um, ladies, you guys are amazing. And this platform has brought me so much life and so much joy. These connections that I have with you guys. You are truly, truly beautiful women. And I am just humbled and honored that you guys come check out my daily stories. You come and are supporting me with the shop. You come and watch these vlogs. I'm genuinely, genuinely humbled by each and every one of you, and I'm so grateful for you guys. So I hope that you guys have a wonderful night. Feel free to comment below, to DM me over on Instagram. Um, yeah, I hope you guys have a great night.